it is Sunday, June, 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 something, uh, Sunday, June 12th, I think, it is raining, the people going north are at, you know, we're at the Harry Nice Bridge, 301 Bridge, Bridge over the Potomac, the Bridge by Dahlgren, uh, whatever you want to call it, this is where we is, and that stream of people going north is heavy, as usual, stream of south, I'm way in front of it, it's only 11, so, new traffic pattern, okay, 35, we're going to be 35 right here, and there isn't much we can do about the weather. I mean, it is wet. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say, you know, one of the other things, you know, this is part of, also part of boating while disabled. I suffer from migraine. Migraine, and it's not, migraine isn't just a headache. It's a whole body attack. Nausea, weakness, un, you know, just all sorts of horrible things. And this morning I woke up planning on bringing Boo the cat with me. And we we're going to go down. We we're going to do a, a night over on the boat with Boo. And, well, the migraine started. I took one of the meds I get for it. I was trying to get Boo loaded up and into the truck and Boo decided she was going to stay home in her cat condo and take her morning nap. So with the migraine, I knew if I went back in and repacked to spend several days down on the boat, I wouldn't make it. So I'm struggling through the things are starting to get a little better. The med only helps, it doesn't solve. And so, yes, sometimes you have to power through, but in this case, if I'd powered through all the way, I wouldn't have gone. But it's gonna be a one-nighter. Uh, in fact, that's all the med medications I brought with me, it was for one night only. And so that's what we're gonna do. Gail and I are going to the boat for a night. See, so check things out. You can see the bridge is looking really great. I mean, we're at a place now where progress won't be obvious again. This is like before they started construction, progress was <laughs> not obvious because it was either underwater or on a drawing board. Uh, we're coming along. Uh, there's more garbage weather coming up out of the south. And I've had a couple people ask me about things that would be over the bridge. Up here at the top, you can see, well, no, you can't see very well. I can barely see it myself, but there's going to be a gantry over the bridge with a signboard up here. But, you know, literally on this old bridge, you can see all the ironwork. Well, over on the new bridge, there isn't any of that ironwork overhead. And some people are concerned about that, about driving off. You know, it's like this, where you can see we're right at the edge. There'll be more room on the other bridge, of course, but this is right at the edge. And that's, you know, for a lot of people, that's darn right scary. Uh, especially if you're, you have less than ideal vision or you're nervous about driving next to things. Well, we're driving next to that by inches. So the roadway is supposed to be 11 feet and that's that's a, a good estimate for something. Over there, the roadway is going to be wider. So it's four lanes wider. Here we go. You know, Looking good, looking great. I love it. Oh. Yeah, you can see this rain is just getting worse and 
south of us it's really nasty so we're going to get over the bridge before the worst hits and down to Buena Ventura and onboard her. Now oh, that's interesting. I wonder what they're doing with the big crane there. Interesting. Good place to park it though. Ugh. And here we are at the Virginia shoreline and now we're into Virginia and this is looking good. They had this kind of, they were blocking the road over here during the week to do some more of this actual construction work. It's looking great. Feeling good about this. So here we are, Virginia, and it's still raining. Take care. June 12, 2022, heading from Virginia to Maryland, part two. We sat for oh, roughly, what, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes waiting, because we're doing one-way traffic here over the old Harry Nice Bridge. And you can see the nice direction people and the nice caterpillar operator and the compactor and the excavator people digging a big trench and here's they have the columns up on these on this gantry side cool and we take it slow and easy we don't want to crunch anybody yesterday we were over there <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah we aren't there today so we go through here, and this is an old gantry with a big old osprey nest on top. Woo! And cool, putting all this together. Tinker toy set. Long, well, that's not too long. They're definitely not backed up too far. Better today than on a weekend. Uh, that that delay on a weekend would have had this lined up all the way over the bridge. And here we are. Long, long line of traffic. Yeah. You can see, oh god, you know, too much traffic. But you can see all those uh, bridge supports or the base of the bridge deck going up. Ooh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Kind of like a like a slalom run or a uh, bobsled ride uh, in, in upper in the northern areas where there's snow and stuff. Yes, this is just the the excitement keeps on coming. I mean, you just can't not be excited to see this. And like I said, we have something else coming up soon. Well, not soon, probably a couple years. But I'll cover that in another video called Another Bridge to Cross. You can see lots of material up here building Fortunately, they can drive the trucks all the way up now, so they don't have to do it all by lifting on barge and over. Just love this stuff. And, uh, yesterday, looking down the South, the South Potomac, it was all nasty, horrible, lightning, thunder, heavy rain. Today, it's just... Ooh, Occasional puppy cloud and hot and humid. It's just hazy out there. Okay, now we're gonna slow down for here. And down there, you can see a tug working its way over. Love tugboats. They are the workhorse of the world. They're just fascinating boats. Powerful, utilitarian. One of the early books I remember, you know, this is early 50s, was about tugboats in New York City. 
Ah, I love that book. And here we go, bouncing along. Little do they know on the other side of the bridge, they ain't going anywhere. <laughs> and here we go, riding, riding bronchi. Oh, man. So they're doing uh, patchwork where there used to be a uh, toll booth. Now, see, on the other side will be gantries, but I, they shouldn't have readers over there since this is a Maryland thing. It's a Maryland bridge right here, and that's the readers. But the gant, the, what they'll have is something like, well, they're not there. And down we swell. Okay. Well, folks, that's it. Thank you for watching Buena Ventura Life. Please click like and subscribe.